Achieving a pleasant indoor climate without harming the global climate is not just a pipe dream. In the Sonnenschiff, it is reality. The architect team was helped in designing the energy facade by Wilhelm Stahl and Volker Weiss from Büro für Sonnenenergie, a solar energy consultancy in Freiburg. The two experts had the job of combining the innovative facade with commercially available energy economy technologies and fine-tuning the building to minimize heating and remove the need for air conditioning in summer. An energy strategy that is meant as a model for a completely new generation of design and construction. Beim Sonnenschiff ist die Energiefassade ähm, eine Kombination. The Sonnenschiff's energy facade has several elements: 570 square meters of vacuum insulation and triple glazing. That's unusual for an office and retail building. To passive house standard. Dreischeibenverglasung wegen passive house standard. There are also night ventilation elements, the first of their kind to be installed. Es hat durch die Nachtluftkühlung und die thermisch aktiven Massen keinen Kältebedarf. The overnight cooling and active thermal mass remove the need for cooling. We generate cool air naturally. A similar normal office building would need about 30 kilowatt hours of cooling per square meter per year. We avoid that. On balance, more energy is harvested from the sun than is used in the building. Natural air conditioning. In the Sonnenschiff, this starts with the outside blinds. These prevent incident sunlight from heating up the interior. Tilting the slats also controls how much daylight gets in. Even the interior walls contribute towards a pleasant indoor climate. Their plasterboard panels contain tiny capsules of paraffin wax. If the room temperature rises past 25 degrees, the wax melts, absorbing heat. The room holds its temperature for quite a long time, even as more heat comes in from outside. When the air cools at night, the paraffin wax solidifies and releases the heat again ready to absorb more the next day. Another innovation in the Sonnenschiff building, vacuum insulation, slimline and efficient. Die Vakuumdämmung hat den großen Vorteil Vacuum insulation makes for a very slimline panel with outstanding insulating properties. This is because vacuum insulation panels are ten times worse at conducting heat than comparable thermal insulation materials. This means we can replace normal insulating material, the standard for a passive house is 20 centimeters, with 2 centimeters of vacuum insulation panel. The downside is that the panels are slightly dearer. Das ist der große Vorteil, der Nachteil ist, dass es ein bisschen teurer ist, die Vakuumdämmung. A vacuum insulation panel consists of a porous core in a foil envelope. The air of the core is evacuated in a vacuum chamber. Like on a thermos flask, this makes for a huge reduction in thermal conductivity. Diffusion-tight foil makes sure the vacuum lasts. Compare this with conventional thermal insulation. If, say, 20 centimeters of normal insulation is needed to keep a building warm, only two centimeters of vacuum insulation panels will be needed to do the same. If the size of the site is a limitation, this makes it possible to increase the usable space inside the building. This boosts overall cost efficiency, despite the higher cost of vacuum insulation panels.
So how is it possible to know and make sure the various technologies will work together to the best effect? Es wird dazu ein Computermodell erzeugt vom Gebäude und dann unter bestimmten Wetterdaten und Nutzungsrandbedingungen können dann We do this in a computer model that lets us change weather data and utilization patterns to see what happens. This is a one-year simulation showing computed weekly temperatures for the building. Laufen hier die Temperaturen, die berechnet werden für dieses Gebäude durch. Hier unten diese rote Linie. The red lines are outdoor temperatures. This is spring, with zero to ten degrees outside. Up here are the indoor temperatures that result in different parts of the building. Dafür gibt es eben jetzt unterschiedliche Auswertungsmöglichkeiten von diesen Simulationen. We can do various analyses. This is one for the comfort zone. The x-axis is the outdoor temperature and the y-axis shows perceived temperatures in one part of the building. We can compare two alternatives and see for each hour that there is just one point where, say, a 20 degree outdoor temperature yields 21 degrees inside. This is a very good tool for tracking complex processes inside the building and therefore for making design decisions. Hier hat man eine sehr äh, plakative Darstellung eigentlich dieser komplexen Vorgänge im Gebäude und damit eigentlich auch ein gutes Instrument, um die Entscheidungen dann auch zu untermauern. If the market for climate-friendly energy systems and building methods is to take off, there is a need for expert design and execution. The Zonenschiff building shows that it can be done and that ecology and economy go hand in hand, including in modern commercial buildings. Thank you.